Okay, we'll call this meeting to order. This is the Sustainability Advisory Board on Monday, June 4th. And we have quorum, I see, which is awesome. I see we have no public comment tonight, I'm guessing, since we have very little public. So we will move along to the approval of the minutes from our May 7th meeting. Would, has everybody, everybody had a chance to review those? Any? Move approval. Mm, move approval, thank you, yes. Um, second? I second. Okay, any discussion on them at all? All right, all in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Okay, approved as written. Okay, the next thing on the agenda is our UWO Environmental Studies Projects update, which you'll recall, those of you who were here last month or had a chance to watch otherwise, um, the students did a fantastic job of exploring four different issues for us and presenting those. Those are all up on our webs on um, Laserfish now, yep. not on the website yet. And um, <clears throat> there's only like 80 pages of information there or something, so. I don't believe any of us have printed them out, but do, do you have some things you want to say about them, Stephen? Or? Um, all I'd say right now is I'm still working on getting them on the website, and then I, I've just been a little bit slower lately in terms of getting them. i got to get them to council and to the city manager, and then they can take a look at those, and um, we can try to recommend something. You know, I think the first step for us is, as staff to keep working on the green infrastructure audit in general. Um, I think ultimately if we do want to move forward with any ordinance changes we would do the audit first complete it because the students kind of started it for us but then we would complete it and then we could recommend some changes to the Common Council for consideration so there will be a lot of staff work still on it okay so mostly it's there now for us as a reference if we yep. want to go back and look at it mm -hmm. okay did anybody else have any comments on the environmental studies project? Okay, thank you. The revisions to the urban chicken keeping and beekeeping ordinances are, can you give us an update on those? Sure, um, so with those we had, I think all of you had voted that were there, had voted on the, uh, to approve recommending the changes that staff proposed to the beekeeping and chicken keeping ordinances. I think the most noteworthy change was to the chicken keeping ordinance and it was just to um, bring it in line with the beekeeping ordinance and only require notification of adjoining property owners. So not requiring consent, but requiring notification instead. And what I did was I just took those and I forwarded those to the city attorney and I'm gonna have the attorneys look at those and we as staff can meet and try to push those forward. So it's on the attorney's desk right now. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> the Environmental Leadership Award update with Rotary? That I actually sent to the city manager, and he recommended that I draft a memo to the common council members and include it in a weekly council packet. So that's what I did last week, was I put it, I tried to do that in, included in their packet, so that should be going to them. Basically, I included the draft proposal, and then I asked them for any input that they might have before approving it. So. We'll take it back to them for a formal consideration for approval, um, but first we just wanted to get some input. That's the direction that he gave me, so that's what I did. So are we trying to stick with that timeline yet or not? The timeline actually might change. I think it just, might need just to, because, yeah. Yeah, I didn't foresee this extra step, but I think it'll be good to get some council input, especially with the city manager directing me to do that <laughs> yes um, <laughs> and kind of get their input if they have anything that they'd like to see added or changed and then hopefully we can get that approved I kind of what he did was he recommended that I forward it to them as something analogous to the landmark Sacanthus awards um, rather than something completely new we already mm -hmm. have awards for landmarks for recommend you know or for recognizing historic preservation and we could recognize sustainability in a similar way you know rather than coming up with something that they may, you know, not be familiar with and saying this is something completely new, which it really isn't. Um, so we went with the plan that we devised with yep. Rotary. It's just that that's how you're tagging it for the council. Yep. Okay, got it. Because it is it is analogous to the other awards that we that we give. So. And even though they haven't approved the final, it doesn't mean we couldn't go ahead with identifying people, projects that we want to recommend. Oh, you know, sure. We don't have to wait until the 
immediate day, and it's approved to yep. look around and say, <laughs> yes, she's done a wonderful job. Let's keep her in mind when we get the approval. Exactly. The committee could go ahead and, and make recommendations sure. with among themselves. We just can't be right. public about it yet. All right. Got it. Yep. Okay. Um, anything else on that? Okay. Terrace tree proposal update. That I actually sent to Alan and Darren. So I sent basically to my department head and then my boss underneath him. Um, I wanted to get there, get a sense of direction from them as far as moving it forward, um, you know, through the city administration. So that's currently in their hands, and I think I'm going to have to remind them because I haven't heard back from them. And I think Alan might have been out of town when I sent that to him. So um, I'm going to follow up with them. But that's on their desks, so they have that latest memo that we looked at. So that's another thing that's in progress. You just have to keep on it. Okay. I have noticed people have an annoying habit of going on vacation and stuff this time <laughs> of year. So. Yep, yep. a lot of that. So. <laughs> Um, actually, I bet Robert has an update on the farmer's market. Yeah, it was grand good fun. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if more people would help. But, hey, Bargy showed up, and I and we had cookies and uh, string cheese. Or, <laughs> cheese curds. There are food incentives that happen mm. when you're at the farmer's market, yes. yes. We did have a number of people stop by because Robert has this wonderful device that um, creates swirled peas from solar energy so if only everybody would use solar energy we could all have world peace and so that gets a lot of looks from kids and and dads and and pretty much everybody so it gets people to stop yes exactly and then we explain who we are and why we're there and we got them close. <laughs> sort of kind of but yes we have three more dates two yep. more dates coming three up more, i think um, so if anybody would like to Oh, do you want to give us what those dates are? Um, so July 14th is the next one. And I think I have Pat and Vic yep. mentioned or Excellent. written down as volunteers for that. So that'll be good. August 11th, I have Vic as tentative. Um, and then September 8th, we're still looking for volunteers for that. Okay. I'm on all of them. Okay. So yeah. I can just put you down, Robert. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. Just tell me, for the farmer's market, there's a box you pick up? Or something well actually yeah, Robert will probably bring it oh you'll yeah. be there on he's got it yeah. yep, he's okay got it. Yep. so I just have to show up or mm -hmm. I don't need to bring anything yeah just yep. show up and then okay and I can go get veggies and things bring a oh, okay <laughs> bring a chair and, and a hat oh. and some sunscreen or something though right. I would suggest okay, so bring a chair and whatever yeah. else I need to sit out and we're um, pretty much right in front of well we're, we're right next uh, to the Amish cookie lady Oh, yeah. <laughs> and right next to the Mexican place. So it's so kind of perfect. It's on Church Avenue, oh, it's and it's Church. close okay. to Division. Okay. So it smells very good in our location this year. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay. So did somebody sponsor the recycling? I was really sick before. I had pneumonia, be, oh. uh, so I, I kind of... We haven't pursued that yet. Oh. But, but it is on my notes, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do for the next one. I think I had also reached out to Advanced Disposal, if I remember correctly, and I think they had mentioned something about potentially donating some kind of recycling, recycling bins, but I haven't heard back from them, so I might have to follow up or, or something with that. Put that in your notes, yeah, follow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions on the farmer's market or other volunteers? You know, we can all show up every week if we want. Um, Okay, the next thing, Vic, is vehicle idling proposal. You have an update for us? Yeah, um, so I have a contact with the Oshkosh Sherry School District, um, Andrew Jones. Um, uh, we've been emailing about like what we could do for vehicle idling education in school zones, um, just because that's some, somewhere we had identified previously um, that was a high area for vehicle idling, and obviously with children being directly there, probably an issue. Um, so we essentially agreed upon that he would be more than willing to distribute an educational flyer that we or I would have to create um, about vehicle idling education and stuff like that um, that would be distributed to all parents and it would just be due to him the second week of August. Um, I offered up a couple ideas like informational sessions or anything like that um, but he just kind of said that this was the most straightforward and easiest way to go about getting to the parents. So. 
that's so what we've kind of got going. So maybe. So will you be bringing that to our July meeting so we can all see it? Sure, I'll write up a draft. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. That would be awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody wants to write one for any other drive-through or anything, feel free. We could, this might, yeah, might be a way to reach out to people. Anything else on vehicle idling? Uh, that's all I have. It's actually one of the focus areas for the Green and Healthy School too. Under the transportation, one of the recommendations is to have a no idling um, like policy. policy. Yeah. Is yeah. that district so wide or a specific school? Um. Well, I was going <laughs> to mention this earlier during the public comment, but um, the Green and Healthy School, so basically if a school is interested in starting it to um, go through the application process, it's per school. So like right now I'm helping Traeger get through the application process and there's different focus areas that either it's recycling more, reducing waste, um, like different, uh, the transportation is one of them. Uh, community involvement and then like energy usage different stuff like that so there's a lot of really neat focus areas and then you basically like step through the program and once you get through the very last thing you can actually get national recognition so it's kind of just like a stamp of approval um, and everything that I read once you get the national recognition you can apply for different grants I'm not really sure what you can get from that it's not very detailed Money. But well, right. But I don't know, like, <laughs> what, like, are they talking fifty bucks or a thousand bucks or you know what I mean? Right. Um, but yeah, so we're we're Traeger's going to start going down this path. Smith has done this already. Um, Is this yeah, some Traeger Elementary, Middle, or both? Uh, the elementary side. Okay. Yep. I'm sure once my kids are on the middle side, it'll probably happen there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, super. Okay. Is there other info that um, you should be sharing with us that I didn't give you the chance to do earlier? Um, no, there's just, I mean, the, the guide is really neat. They give a lot of opportunity and a lot of suggestions on things that you can do to step through the process. And a lot, Traeger's done a lot already. And with growing Oshkosh, helping with the gardens, I mean, that's one of the, the focus areas too. So, yeah, it's... Do you know if the school district website has information on the Green and Healthy School program? It's not actually even on the school district. No. It's uh, through the DNR, I think, is the actual um, host of that, of this program. Okay. And you um, said Smith School, though, has completed this or is yeah, a, a Green and they Healthy went School? Through, yep, they went through the application process. I don't know what tier they're at, but sure. every three years you have to redo your application. Sure, for consistency. and Yeah. But the one that, the woman that got Smith involved in it, she's not at there at the school anymore. So I don't know that they're still sure. going through the process. I mean, they, they did their changes and they continue with it. They just don't go through the Green and Healthy School. Um, yeah, it's through the DNR, Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. Is okay. what kinda heads it up. I did send uh, Steve in the guide. Um, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like an 80-page 80, 80 guide. <laughs> Some, that's something I could probably post on the laser fish or on the website. Yeah, that'd be yeah. good. Then It'd we could take a look at it. Probably be a little large to email, but yeah. I'll, yeah, don't I'll do that. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's big. Yeah, posting is good. Yep. We like that. Yeah. Okay, anything else on that subject? Okay, moving on then. Menominee Shoreland Restoration Update, Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, Memorial Day weekend on that Saturday, we had a great event where Target came out and helped us out with a uh, volunteer day, thanks to Vic. Um, she told Target about that opportunity. And so we had um, a total of seven Target employees and myself were out there and uh, we got done in record time. They're awesome. <laughs> um, they have very efficient and good working crew and uh, we all had a good time. Um, like I said, we got done in record time. So what we had done that day was laid down cardboard all along the Shoreland Trail that we have, and then we laid wood chips, and we even got to put fresh wood chips um, going up to the memorial trees that we have um, out in that area. So we, we got a lot done that day. Um, so that's great. So people can go and enjoy that trail now, and hopefully we'll have less maintenance we need to do with weed pulling this year with that extra step that we were able to get done. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, 
We were going to do our trimming on June 2nd, uh, this past Saturday, but um, things just weren't tall enough yet, which is weird to say, and I really want to knock on wood right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we have, um, I think everybody knows, we have a late growing season this year just due to the weather that we've had. So um, we decided to push that back until Wednesday, June 13th, which is our next work day. We were going to do some work on the pump house site, um, but we pushed that back a little bit as well, um, just so that we can do the trimming on that day. So if anybody wants to come out, um, we'll be at the Miller's Bay Restoration site at 3.30 p.m. on that uh, Wednesday, June 13th. Wednesday, June 13th, you said? Yep. So we're yeah. just going to do an overall site trimming. And you're starting when? 3.30. And how late do you plan to run? 5.30. Just a couple hours. Okay. Excellent. Yep. Just in case anybody wants to come out, we want to be sure they know where, where and when. Yes, exactly. And um, if you don't know where that is, uh, Google does pull up uh, Miller's Bay Restoration Site, um, but it is off of uh, Oak Trail. and uh, Which is off of Menominee Drive. Which is off of Menominee Drive. Oak Trail is very small, little... Um, it's basically just a little curve that goes in towards the lake so that you can just drive along that little stretch there. Um, so. <laughs> or fall in the potholes, whichever comes first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so that's where we're at right now. Um, there's one other thing. Uh, Oshkosh Garden Club is awesome, and they're letting us have um, distribute flyers at the tables for um, the during the garden, garden walk. Yes, oh. the garden walk event because that is the day before our uh, Benvenuto's fundraiser. So. Um, that's really exciting. So we're gonna have those Speak more about this Benvenuto's fundraiser of which you mentioned. So I have to get my I, uh, dates escape me if I don't have my calendar right out in front of me. So um, it is going to be this Benvenuto's fundraiser. So from open to close, if you mention um, the Menominee Park Shoreland restoration um, before you order, uh, it's gonna be on, oh yeah, June 25th, that's a Monday. All day, you can come in and tell them you're ordering for Menominee Park Shoreland, and they'll donate 20% of the proceeds to our organization. So, our volunteer group for our efforts. And they're not handing out straws anymore. That's awesome. I am so proud of that. That's great. <laughs> uh, not only is haven't it tested that step yet, at a time. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll have to choose that day just to yeah. like have as many people watch and see. Well, and it might possible. be a really good time for us to revisit this because Beckett's is voluntarily not handing them out. Polores is no longer handing them out, and Benvenuto's, and yeah. who knows how many others that, that we haven't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we when we go out anywhere else, we have to be sure and mention that before they do, and then go into the 300 million straws a day globally are going to landfills. Yeah. Why are you mm -hmm. doing this to us? Right. So. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of exciting, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, on that note, please, everybody, go check out the Oshkosh Garden Club Garden Walk on Sunday, June 24th, and then the next day come out to Benvenuto's and have dinner. Or lunch, or drinks, or, drinks, or, 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 or lunch. all three. Or lunch, you could do lunch. It's at, they open at 11 a.m. that day. You could sit there from 11 until midnight if you yeah. want. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a fun day. I'll be out there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the whole day, but um, yeah, that's that's where we're sitting right now. All right. Well, with that, let's move on to agenda items for a future meeting. And I'd ask that um, because we've had basically just updates today, if we have anything additional new that we want to make sure um, goes on the agenda, let's bring that up. But we'll kind of assume that we'll continue to have updates on these other things so we don't have to mention them. Do we want to workshop the proposal I bring? next time or um, not oh I don't know what that vehicle idling thing yeah um, we'll probably ask you to have it ready to hand out in the packet ahead of time oh, and we'll sure. just discuss it during okay. the meeting okay. that's okay yeah that's fine I don't know what that procedure is. okay we'll we'll yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll go over that <laughs> okay Lurton the uh, first congregational church noted today to put in solar panels Woo -hoo. I think maybe Sometime we could put a little publicity onto that, indicate, or put it in our plan update. Yeah. Sure. Excellent. I was going to say, I field trip. We should probably take a field trip. <laughs> we could do that. It's within walking distance, and we can admire them from They're afar. On a flat roof. 
Oh, that'll be a little more <laughs> difficult. To see, but there eventually will be hopefully some screen saying how much electricity is being made. Won't oh, yeah. It? Yeah, so you could go in and look at the screen. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can get somebody to take pictures. So. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Somebody with a drone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anything else for future meetings? Wow, we're doing such a good job. We got her all covered. Okay, well, with that, um, our next meeting will be on Monday, July 2nd. I know that's very close to, to a holiday, but I hope we'll all make it in, anyway. And before we adjourn, I, since we're not going to be videotaped after we adjourn, <laughs> I wanted to uh, mention how important it is to have Stephen do the work he is. I think Oshkosh is on a ascending good curve and part of it is the city manager and part of it is the mayor and the council and part of it is department heads like Darren and a good part of it is Stephen and Alexa who do so much work that's the building blocks for all the other things so thank you thanks Lorton I couldn't agree more. We're very lucky to have Stephen on board, and I think the planning department realizes that. So, Okay, well, next meeting then, Monday, July 2nd, and I would entertain a motion to adjourn to workshop session so that we can work on our sustainability plan update. So moved. Second. All right. <laughs> All in favor? All right. Aye. All righty. Thank you so much. <laughs>